I took a trip out to my local wood recycling store and I came back with this. It's a big bag of hardwood cutoffs. I bought this for five English pounds, which I thought was an absolute bargain. I've got a load of oak. There's also loads of this in there. This is like mahogany, I think it is. I'll tell you what, let's get it out and have a look. I don't own a table saw. I do have a mitre saw though. So cutting pieces like this, that won't be a problem. On the other hand, cutting up pieces like this could prove to be quite a challenge. And I want to be able to do this safely. And at the end of it, still have five of these on each hand. But I don't want to have my fingers anywhere near here when this bad boy is spinning. Let's rig something up. So here we have part one, piece of pallet wood cut off and a little pivot point built in. And on the front, a bit of foam that I had lying about. The point of this is that it gives you an extension on your hand so you can get nice and close. The other thing you need to do is put another block up the back and you can adjust the height so you've got just enough room there to give you a bit of downward pressure and to hold your wood so you can cut safely with your hands well out the way part two of this is just a couple of bits of wood put together and the reason for that is that on your mitre saw there's quite a big gap underneath where the saw blade goes so in a moment i'm going to go out and put a cut in this so that then you can cut off really fine pieces without them disappearing down the hole. Of course this little creation it's not restricted to mitre saws. If you've got something like this a mitre box you can use it in exactly the same way. Apply some pressure and your fingers are well away from the edge. Don't make the same mistake I did making the backing board. My piece of wood was too high for the saw, so I had to rip a piece off. Let's take this outside, see how well he works on this small piece of offcut. You can see from that little demonstration, there's no problem with cutting off small slithers. All right, it fell apart, but it's just a bit of pallet wood. When it came to cutting this bad boy, my saw blade is a little bit too shallow for the depth of this wood. So when I went to cut this, 
I got down to a certain point and he kind of stuck. Then I had to turn it over. And that's when it all kind of went awry, really. So the lesson is, if you've got a depth of wood that's less than the depth of your saw cutting blade, you shouldn't have a problem. Have a great day, everyone. Catch you later.